This is Sam Strikes Access All Areas for Hussein's house in uh you're in my room. So um I've left my house today. I was forced to leave my house to come and meet Samuel Strike. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what your name Strike yeah? It's been in my day three three times today. First I was in America. So I was in America last night, early morning. So, yeah. Within the last twenty four hours and I was playing baseball, I got striked out. Right. Then I come to London, there was a tube strike. Yeah. And then I'm sitting with Sam Strike. Strike three. Hey, strike three. It's meant to be. Yeah, it is. What's been happening? Not much, man. Like, just finished the, finished the film. Wait, can we take a moment to appreciate? We made this happen. We've been talking yeah, about this for a long time. About this for a long time. We made it happen. Time, yeah. A very long time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, long overdue. From when you was Johnny Carter. From when I was Johnny Carter, yeah. Yeah. It has been a long time. It has, isn't it? Yeah, man. So, yeah, tell us about the film. What's been happening? Oh, I did, uh, I did, like, the most recent Texas Chainsaw Massacre, man. Um, we shot that in Bulgaria, there's like these big movie studios yeah. in Bulgaria. So I was shooting there and that was really good fun man. I got to do like a like a really like thick Texas American accent. Yeah. Can we hear it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no He's like you ain't got budget, you ain't hearing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, my mate. agent. I, like, I just about got away with it on the set. I don't even remember how to yeah. do it anymore. Yeah, yeah, Texas yeah. Chainsaw Massacre, that's a big film man, congratulations. Oh thanks man. Because not a lot of people from EastEnders in the past have gone on to do big films. Yeah, it's cool, man. I feel like it's kind of changing a little it bit. Is, you know, it is, it like, is, yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, Rob Kaczynski a couple of years ago, he's doing really well. Yeah. And Ben Hardy got X-Men. Yeah. You know, I feel like, I think... Slow. And Ronnie was in um, Kingsman. Kingsman. Yeah. In Kingsman. Killing, killing a baby. Yeah, Always yeah, killing yeah, a baby. Yeah. No, Sam was yeah. awesome, man. Yeah, she was... Uh, I, Cause I, she told me she was in it ages yeah. ago, and then I watched it. And I told yeah, her yeah, no, that was it. Oh, it's yeah. Sam, yeah. So talking about EastEnders, yeah. Are we ever gonna see you back in it? Like you never say never. Oh, them I'm, ones. You're gonna hit us with them cliche bars, yeah. But I've got no like immediate plans to return, man. No. But you never say never. You never oh, that's sad. I like I like Johnny. Johnny oh, was thanks, cool. Man. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was, he, yeah. Yeah, Johnny. Was Do you miss that? Do you miss his gender? Yeah, there are aspects of it that I miss. Yeah, yeah like I miss like the people. Yeah, I, I really miss the people that played my my family. Yeah, yeah like I got with them really well. Yeah. Like we were like a real family. Yeah, like. I was gonna say you can see that because um the Carters are very close knit. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely, man. I still see like big Danny. I see Danny Dyer quite often. I go around his quite mm -hmm. a lot. I see his family and that. Um, <laughs> what's the most common question you get asked? Are you gonna come back to EastEnders? <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I just said that. Yeah, probably, man. No, yeah, no. Oh, yeah. how creative am I? No, no, you're very creative, dude. No, I, 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 get, I, get, I get, yeah, I get asked that quite a lot. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I get asked that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I guess on Twitter and stuff, that's probably. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the most common. All right, talk us through your tattoos as well. Oh, uh, mate, do you know what? I'd, I'd love to. Yeah. But I don't ever talk about it. Why? Because, like. This guy, man! I know, I know. What's what was the point of doing this? I ain't gonna tell you about anything. I don't know, man. These are like. These are like I, got, I got quite a few, but they're kind of like. My can life. I guess? Nah. Well, you can try. But you, you won't say yes or no. So there's an anchor. Yeah. So is that to say that you're never gonna be, like, weighed down in the sea or weighed down in life? You can. Uh, no, but we can take it that way. This guy going into poetry and metaphors all of a sudden. Yeah, no, man, it's bad, isn't it? Why? Why wouldn't you talk about them? I don't know. Like, I guess like, uh, I love tattoos, man. I love tattoo art. Like a lot of my friends are tattoo artists and stuff. But I, yeah. I kind of like they're kind of like private little reminders and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't know what you mean, but okay, if, oh, that, no. if that's what it means, but yeah. Thanks for letting me on. <laughs> Thanks for letting me on. That's, you're quite a shy person. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, I guess I'm You don't seem like, shy though. I don't know, man. Like, I feel very comfortable yeah. here at the moment. Yeah, I don't know. Because we're in his house. Yeah, we're in, well, yeah. Yeah, his apartment. Imagine oh. that, yeah. <laughs> um, nice. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a little bit like, yeah, I like to sort of kind of be in my own company, I guess. Yeah. Because when I was doing research about you, I'm feeling like a stalker. <laughs> I was I was reading a lot that oh, you were saying in a few other interviews that you're shy, you're mm. an introvert. Yeah, I suppose I am quite. I've always been that way though, really, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I've always kind of been quite like like nervous in like yeah. public situations and stuff. Like when I was um, you know, when I first started EastEnders, that was the first time I had to do like red carpets and yeah. all those kind of events. So that was a real kind of like proving ground. Yeah, for me, yeah, yeah. It was like oh. Wow. And you and you acted for a long time before getting a role. Yeah, I had a couple of jobs, man. I did like my first job was a series called M.I. High where I got to play like a spy, man. Yeah, that was cool. And then I did like a, a sitcom called Give Out Girls, but that didn't come out till like 
just after. I, I think I saw a clip of that. Yeah, that was great fun, man. I got to do. You was wearing a white shirt. Uh, yeah, 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 like, yeah. I, like everybody in that was great, but I was a fan of um, Ben Bailey Smith, who goes by like the rap name Doc Brown, and he does like okay. comedy rap, and I got to work with So, him, do you like, rap as well? No, nah, man, I don't rap. I'm not <laughs> near but cool you sing, to rap. you sing, don't you? Uh, I, I, I have done. I heard you're going to drop a little number for us right now. Did you? Because I, I thought before the interview you said you was going to rap about this saying, guy. Look at him. So, you're not going to sing? I was hoping you'd rap. That's the reason I've invited oh, yeah. you in. Yeah, to hear some bars. To hear some, some bars. bars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you remind me of one of my friends so much. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's cool, man. That is in cool. familiar territory. It is, it is. So, um, South End, born and raised. Yeah. In Pans, where I spent most of my days. <laughs> there you go, that was the rap. Okay, cool, you can go home now. <laughs> and then, on your bike, Zane, you're done. <laughs> so, um, Texas, exciting. Yeah. Yeah, man, that was really cool. So basically, in this interview, he said he'd done a movie. He's not going to tell us about his tattoos. He's not telling us whether he's coming back to his tenders. He's not going to sing. You're not very cooperative, are you? I'm trying. Uh, yeah. What do you mean you're trying? No, I'm just, yeah, no, I know, I know. Yeah. Well, why don't you tell us something that nobody knows? Tell you nobody there you knows. go. There you go. Uh, yeah, I tell us Sam Strike's this. secret. I don't know, man. I'm a massive comic book stuff but that's no secret anymore like I guess a lot of people have been coming for geeks now um what's the what's the craziest thing that's happened to you when you've been like walking down the street from like a fan uh Joe was really weird um no what was it like, I'm a big like like I'm a big Spider-Man fan and stuff yeah. right man and I got to go to the premiere for Spider-Man 2 yeah like, last year and like we had to I was with Himesh Patel who plays Tamwa on his yeah. he's one of my good 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 friends and we had to walk down the red carpet and we kind of thought like you know you're on the red carpet with Andrew Garfield and Jamie Foxx and all these massive actors yeah. and I was like a like a, I was like excited like a kid I was like the yeah. Spider-Man's over there man yeah 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 and uh, like I was like the amount of like uh, attention that like the people that were there to see the Spider-Man people were giving me and Himesh that was a real kind Wow, a lot of people. Yeah. Just is big, man. I know, I know. Is, I know yeah. it is like, and it's it's a real like institution of a show. But like, sometimes it takes a little thing yeah. like that. Jamie Borthwick, uh, who plays Jay, described it uh, in the perfect way to me once. He yeah. says like, you know, you go into the supermarket and uh, say you want to buy some like saffron. It's like a rare herb. You don't yeah. get it often, so you got to look around the supermarket for a little mm -hmm. bit. They're the A-list actors. You don't see them all the time, and when you do, it's a real fucking, it's a real treat. But then you. So what are you trying to say? You're like, no, you're, you're like cabbage. No, no, you see no, no, in every no. supermarket. You're like Walker's crisps. You know exactly where they are. You have them every single day. So you're oh really easily recognisable. And James, yeah, it's true. I guess I guess what you're saying is I true. Thanks a lot for your time. Oh no, thanks for coming and see me, man. <laughs> we finally made it happen. <laughs> this guy, you don't understand. I was pestering his life here, and I was just like, you know what, like, forget it. I'm yeah, just gonna leave it. Forget. And then I'll just hear randomly back, yo, and I'm like, yeah. And then it's gone again. But we made a really bad habit of doing that, man. I'm so bad at staying in touch with people. Is it why? Why are you like that? I don't know. I think it's like a little OCD I have. I'm just like I'm really bad at staying in touch with people. Why though? Let's let's talk about this. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm really good at that. I think. That's, I'd like to think what, I'm good at it. I think that's obviously what you're doing well with what you're doing, man. I'm I'm really bad at like keeping in touch. So with if people. someone messages you, you don't want to message back. There's like a little part, like there's like a little switch in my brain that's like for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. Like there's a negative vibe towards messaging back. Oh my days! It's, what? It is like a little What's wrong OCD, with you? It's like a little OCD thing. It is, I think. Yeah. So it's like if someone messages you, I'm not going to message you back because that's negative. No, no, it's not because it's negative. I, I just get like uh, the, I, there is no reason for it. I just get this like that's little so negative strange. cloud in the back of my brain. Yeah, it's really strange. All right, you need to stop having that negative cloud. I know. I know. No, I'm trying. I'm trying. Are, you, are you trying? Are you trying? Yeah, it starts are today. Are like you actually trying? All right, he's going to try from today. What's the date today? I don't know the date. It's the, it's the 8th of July? It's the 8th of it's July, 2015. July. Yeah, put that on the record, man. Yeah, Sam see, Strike like, is going to make more effort with his friends and respond back to messages. We're here today, so it's, that's the start, right? We could make it happen. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure there are, there's people that you definitely respond to. Nah. Yeah, Yo, you're a liar. You're a liar. Don't, don't lie. People have to like call me, and even then, I sometimes don't pick up my phone. That's rude, you know. I know, I'm horrible. Wow, I've never met somebody like that. What do you know? What is no? What's strange? My best friend's a bit like that as well. Like he, you message him, you text him, da da da, and he'll open that. You'll see the double blue tick on WhatsApp, but they just don't respond. And I'm just thinking like, because you did that the other day, but I WhatsApp you, and it's just like double blue tick, and I'm just like. 
No, you were really good, man, because it's kind of like we spoke for the past week about doing this. And then like you'd be like, okay, this day, then it'd take me like three days to reply. Um, yeah, why is and that? Then, and then you just got off a plane today and still managed to get here. Because so I'm re- out here. Respect for that, man, because like, I, 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 no, I couldn't do it. We're out here. Yeah. Sam Strike. <laughs> Yo, I'm Sam Strike. This is well, this this is my house. It's meant to be Hussein's house, but I, I, I couldn't be bothered to go anywhere. So I made Hussein come here. Anyway, the uh, long story short, you need to subscribe. You really need to subscribe. You need to click that button. Just done. Don't click that button.